how did I get my start? I was, uh, I mean, I wanted to be a painter originally. I went to, when in high school, I kind of woke up to art making, um, and my teacher was a painter, but I didn't, you know, I found out over time that I wasn't a good painter. And, uh, and moreover, I found out that I wasn't a studio artist, that I didn't, yeah, I just didn't like making things in a, in a room. I wanted to go out in the world. <clears throat> so then I started doing these sort of uh, temporary sculptures out in the environment and was photographing them. Um, and that just sort of led to photography in a way. And to this day, I'm not, you know, here we are at my studio, my studio, but I don't actually have much of a studio practice. I print here, but I don't, I virtually never photograph here. So at what point in the mix then did you, did, did you get into photography and how long have you been doing it? Yeah, I got into it in college then. So the, those sculptures, those outdoor sculptures in college I was doing, and then towards my junior and senior year, <clears throat> I started focusing on photography. Um, and then I was, I've been doing it ever since. So that was, yeah, uh, 92, I graduated. Um, and then, yeah, I came back to Minnesota. I went to Sarah Lawrence college, uh, in New York, came back to Minnesota and was, you know, I, <clears throat> I never thought I was going to make a living making art. It just seemed not possible at all. So the plan was just to always have some sort of job. So I worked at a photo lab originally. Later on, I worked for a suburban newspaper chain. After that, I I got a job at the Minneapolis Institute of Arts, and and I sort of thought that was going to be my life forever. You know, a job like that, and then you know, boom, magic happened, and and I got to <laughs> live the life. You know, there's a lot of luck involved, but. Uh, I mean, so all during those those different jobs, I was you know I was working on different projects and having little shows and um, and then this project came about Sleeping by the Mississippi and it uh, and I got some grant funding for it and and it was good I I thought you know when I was done with it I thought wow okay I've done something good um, and I'm sort of ready to like try to put this out in the world in some way. And, you know, I was just very lucky that a few things happened where I was <clears throat> nominated for a prize anonymously. So that, that happened. Someone else recommended me to a New York gallery. And then, of all things, the Whitney Biennial, I got into the Whitney Biennial via a recommendation from a, a different cur curator. So it was just, it all came together. And, and um, it was so many opportunities that you know, I had to leave my job, which was a scary moment for me. Cause you know, I was sort of like, you know, Midwestern conservative, like not living the bohemian lifestyle at all. Um, but it was so much that I, yeah, I up and left and it's been a long time now. So it's, yeah. My old boss said I'd come crawling back <laughs> and, and I haven't. Mm. The thing about the art world is that it's very fashion based. You know, it's things come in fashion and out of fashion and I knew that I had this moment, you know, where I was in fashion. Um, and, you know, I've been able to sustain it by, uh, I have a lot of different things going on simultaneously. So I'm not just in the art world. I'm also, I also do, you know, magazine photography. I also do teaching. I do all these little things. Um, yeah, it's incredible that I've kept it going. <laughs> Sleeping in Mississippi um, <clears throat> was my first project. Uh, I mean, the first one that I, as I said, that I felt was, you know, somehow worthy of, you know, more attention or, or trying to get out of the Twin Cities area. And this work um, was made over, a, a number, <clears throat> sorry, this work was made over a number of years. Um, so it wasn't one long Mississippi trip. It was several as I could piece together time off of work and money and that sort of thing. And uh, the work itself is not, it's not a documentary of the Mississippi River. This is, if you actually look at the book, there are very few images of the Mississippi. Um, it's really, I'm using the Mississippi as a metaphor for wandering, you know, and just that, that kind of boyish sort of going with the flow wandering. I mean, one thing that's distinctive, I think, about about some of my work is that there's a real mix. So it's it's 
you know, when I'm at a, you know, a wedding and someone says, you know, what do you do? I say, I'm a photographer. They say, what kind of pictures do you take? And then I go, oh, you know, like it's tough because I photograph portraits, and landscapes and um, still lives. Um, and <clears throat> so it's, but it's not documentary, but it's not staged. It's, you know, so, uh, so it's complicated to explain it. And I mean, the goal of it is to weave all of these different pictures together in in a sort of novelistic way, although it's not a novel. Um, but to try to, um, just as in, in a novel, you have a character, but you don't just look at the character. You look at where they live, you look at their job. So I'm trying to show, you know, this larger world. One thing that's probably, you know, I, I try to stress about me, uh, because people who knew me when I was younger uh, know that you know I was a painfully shy person, so it's it's really strange to them that I've made a life out of approaching strangers. <laughs> um, and so when I and and for me the act of photographing other people is is a sort of an act of therapy. It's like it's a way to get over this fear. Um, at least at the beginning, it was like that. And so when I started um, <clears throat> as a photographer, I just photographed everybody, you know, just to, as like practice. And then over time, I just developed this sensibility, this, this, I had an attraction to certain people for whatever reason, I kind of know it when I see it. And um, so it's, so when you ask like, how do I find the people I found? You know, it's, there's not an easy answer, but it's, I'm, I'm drawn toward them. <laughs>